Hey guys, so it's pouring raining out, but I'm gonna run to the hospital thrift store again and see if we have any luck like we did the last time I was there. They have been closed the last three days. Today's their first day open. It's not that crazy half off bric-a-brac sale. So maybe there will be less traffic and I'll find some cool stuff. So let's go, I'll meet you inside. So I see the avocado colored chip and dip, but it's missing the clip as usual. What are these? These look, I think totally like 80s, maybe even 90s. And this little pottery vase, a dollar. That's handmade, no markings. These are kind of cool. They're like double walled. Oh, this whole set here, no marks. 16 for the set. It's getting a little expensive, $4. Spode, am I weird that I only knew Spode? I thought they only made Christmas stuff. <laughs> oh well. And let's see if I can show you her face. The angle is weird. It's five dollars. It's really awesome, but it had like a ninety-something date on it. This tray, however, is grabbing my attention. Made in USA. It definitely looks vintage to me, but what do I know? <laughs> I'm just drawn to the look. So that might be coming home with us today. They have these little flamingo ornaments. They're $4 each. That must be something I don't know. And I think the ankles are broken. We have this little doggy. I don't know what he is. It's like a sugar jar maybe. There's no spout made in China. Here's another one of those bottles. Federal law forbids. I don't want to make it a whole thing. <laughs> I'll have another collection. So cool though. I like this little cookie stamp. That's fun. That's Ainsley. I have a few teacups that are Ainsley. It gets a little overwhelming in here because it's so jam packed. Here's their basket of ornaments for 75 cents each. This is where I lucked out and got those mercury glass beads. Now this guy looked super, super old. It is Hallmark. It's got a 90s date on it. That's crazy. This is West Germany. Those are the ones I tend to like to get. That's 
They're also West Germany. So you can kind of guess which ones are going to be coming home with me. Oh, that's missing its top. Oh, that lost all of its outer glaze. This one actually says West Germany on it too. It's got a plastic top that I feel like doesn't fit well. This one's nice. Okay, moving on. So this is totally modern, but it's my other side. <laughs> my other side of likes. So I think I'm gonna grab that for $3. This little terrine five. I picked this up last time I was here too. It's so intriguing to me. I, I wish I knew. It's only two dollars. I just think it's absolutely insane. If it if it's here, upon further thought, I next time I think I'll grab that for my mom. I think she would like that. So here's a pitcher and basin. Huge crack on it. And that's from 2004, but it is signed. It's a giant crack. And this piece of pottery made in Israel. And do you see what I see? It's been in the corner of my eye the whole time. Don't think it wasn't. Hello, baby Fenton for two fifty. And this bird says Japan. This, this is an UNESCO little booty, 1970, little porcelain booty. None of the flowers are broken, that's crazy. These little Dutch clogs. These look extremely interesting. No marks whatsoever though. Or there's some kind of stamp on there. I think it's a number only. This little guy, Japan. Just taking a peek through the jewelry. See those cufflinks back there? Three dollars, no, three, three dollars a pair. Wonder if there's like actual real gold ones in there or something that they missed. I don't see anything that's really grabbing me. This little clutch is interesting. I think this is definitely vintage, I think. But it is Velcro, I don't know, maybe. 80s? 70s? 80s? I don't know. No, no mark. You think somebody made that? I have no idea. No price either. No. Now I have come upstairs to the house. This is basically clothes and baby and linens in the other room. Trying not to make you dizzy, but I'm just showing you what they have. All ties, $1.25. I bet we could find some silk ones in here. And look at this one. There's some great 70s ones in here. Look at this. I love it. I love it. But none of the men in my life would ever wear that. They're no fun. I love it. So cool. Macy's Men's Store. Look how that tag looks. The 
Pierre Cardin. 100% imported silk. See, told you. Macy's Men's Store on this one, too. So cool. That's an... I, it's probably old from the design, too, I can tell. See, and this floral one. Look how fun this is. Oh, gosh, this screams 70s to me, too. Chas, Chas Berman, I think it says. See, I don't know a single man in my life that would wear that. <laughs> but I love it. This has little fox on it. Oriani. And then they're calling this a men's jewelry box. It's got like a paper inlay. It's three dollars. I don't know what goes in there. And they have just a couple of games. That's amazing. Literally a couple. So this operation looks cool. I think I'm going to take a peek at this off camera and make sure all the bits and pieces are present. Look at this huge bag of Mega Blocks for $3. Some kid would love that. And then I'm loving this little Barnyard Buddies felt barn. Oh, and it's got two cute animals in there. I know it's more of a baby toy, but I love it. How much is it? It's a dollar. I think I'm going to get that for a little man. <laughs> it's just so cute. Not really I'm going to see that, guys. That's their single solitary bag of stuff they have, <laughs> unlike the other places. <laughs> This little girl is adorable. She looks vintage and possibly Japanese. The sticker is gone. And this is a Capa de Monte jar for $8. And the roses are actually flawless, which is shocking. I love the wire chicken. <laughs> I'm not going to pick it up today, but I'm not going to lie. I love that wire chicken. What is this for a dollar fifty? Are those fish? They look like catfish or something. And it's signed. That's something my mom would like too, but not. I think the. I think the content is not her style. The fish. These are unmarked. I was wondering what these big old bowls of sugar were. Another chip and dip. That one's attached. Eight dollars. That must be something. And these are religious books. And then I'm seeing a Big Barry's boot. Big Barry's is no longer around. I remember eating there when I was a kid, so that's kind of nostalgic for me. But I don't need a Big Barry's boot in my house. I used to get root beer in them when I was a kid. No good mugs. Look at these huge knobs. What, those are like, oh, those are for like curtains or something, right? Those are huge old ice trays a huge Christmas platter all right okay I mean not too bad but I got a couple things um I spent uh, $20 again I don't know something like that the sale today was jean and denim, which I got none of. 
Um, I wanted to go to Island Thrift because it's Wednesday and that's like everything in the store is half off. But I don't have time to go all the way there before I have to pick up Little Man. So I'm going to run to um, the church one real quick. See if they put anything, anything out. Um, and yeah, so we'll see. Actually, my plan to get sidetracked right here. I got an email for a new contract and I had to go home right away, review the contract and call my client. So we didn't go anywhere else. But in a few more days, we do. And it's amazing. And I wasn't alone. And it's in this video. So stay tuned. Hi, everyone. So it is raining and windy and nasty and I love it. And I just called my mom and I was like, do you want to do something fun? You want to come with me somewhere? And she's like, where? I'm like, I don't know. Somewhere fun. Thrift store, antique shop, wherever. She's like, yeah, okay, come. Now, last night we were talking and I said, when are you ever going to come thrifting with me? Her answer was, when you can control yourself and get out in five minutes. I said, how are you ever gonna find the good stuff? She said, well, you don't need to find all of the good stuff. <laughs> I said, I'm sure I don't, but anyway. So, and then she said my stepfather was jealous and I was like, so tell him to come too. So I don't know, I'm very excited. I don't know where we're going. I'll let them choose because I'll leave well enough alone that my mom's even coming with me. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. So um, I will see you guys in a little bit. So Parents' Choice, remember yesteryears in Oakdale, if you're local, it is a huge antique center. There's over 100 dealers. It is over 15,000 square feet and allegedly the largest on Long Island. So here are a few pictures from their website so that you can get a sense of the whole inside instead of the close-ups of our shopping. My parents like to go here on their own. It's their little spot and I get jealous. I haven't been in, oof, since their old location they've moved. So over 10 years, maybe 15 even. This one's 45 with no light though. And this, this tree is down to 50. Oh, this is so old. 45. This ornament is five from eight, and the rest are five and six. A little too much for me. This decoy is 55, and it's not even signed. And this one is a gold beak, so that's decorative. I don't even like that. And this is one of the cork ones with feathers on it. No price. Old tins and the nice little old dollhouse furniture. A pin cushion, 12. These are also 12 little Japanese ones. Mm -hmm. These bags are all 25. The old red AT&T rotary, 75. This Pyrex is 18 and this little one is 10. There's this big giant horse. I'm trying to see a maker. I don't see any marks. 
but they have it for 55 firm. So these little candle holders are 12 each. They do not glow, but this does for 20, which is just too high. It's too high on that. This little piece is 12, also does not glow. This little opalescent hobnail, $12. Let's see, that's too high on that too, and there's no discount in this booth. There's so much to look at, so I'm just gonna kinda show you guys around <laughs> so you can look too. This little basket is EAPG. I'm in love with these little jadeite creamer and sugar for 15. I was heavily contemplating. 15 on this. 18 on the bottle. And 13 on the apple. Big chip here. Four dollars. Initials. I'm assuming it's a hobbyist piece. And this is nice. But not for 20. No. And is that a pontal? Because if that's a pontal, that is not Fenton. But I'm not sure. Oh boy, this is six uranium glass sherbet glasses for 30. Now, I was going to make the seller an offer for 24. Turns out I didn't see there's a 30% off sign at this booth. So they're 21 for the six. And uh, you can already guess these babies are coming home with me. Now I find myself in another conundrum. So you see this and this and this. Now, I have every intention of buying both of these items. The shoe is 12, the thing on the left is 10, and then an additional 20% off. The thing on the left is clearly incomplete. It's missing something. It's upside down right now. It's missing something that it would have sat in. The thing on the left is uranium glass. The shoe is manganese, which makes it 1915 or earlier. However, I don't want to collect manganese. I'm trying to stay strictly to uranium. And the uranium piece here is incomplete. So I figured the money could be better spent elsewhere, even though I completely fell in love with both of these pieces. Since they are ruby red or garnet, and they do contain manganese and uranium, which is amazing. But after much, much contemplation, I decided to leave them both behind and put that money towards items that better line up with my collection instead. Heartbreaking, but I think it was the right decision. Here I am begrudgingly returning them to their home. And I'm going to give you one last look at their glory. So this is the manganese daisy and button button Fenton shoe and this is the uranium piece you can see the difference between the green on the right and the orange on the le left piece orange or yellow look at this Fenton piece back here oh my goodness now this piece is really nice it is a console set candlesticks and bowl for 32 which is not bad and it's a really interesting set because it's actually reverse painted on the back but then the roses on the front are hand painted and then we have this Noritake set for 22 get this garbage out of here thank you very much this italian gold flack piece 22 and this butter dish does not glow but the little three-footed stand does for 15 i think it's a little steep 
and let's move over here. We have this nice little fish. See that? Yeah. Beautiful. She's in love with this lamp. <laughs> for G's for 10 and 12. Hi, yes. And this etched, these etched candlesticks, 10 for the pair, I think that's fair. This little hand-blown pitcher. Beautiful. And this, yeah. Somebody broke. And off. this, mm -hmm. this goes with it too. That's totally Victorian to me, though. This is not, yeah. you know, this is very that lacy look, you know, the lace. This is cool. I love this. I love it for the lake house. It's so expensive. <laughs> it's 185. So they're calling this a pole lamp, and it's 65. Yeah. It's the so little nice. milk glass. I think it's so cool. Here's the bottom, and here's the plug. It's got some age to it. This is cool. And glow. <laughs> it was meant to be, I'm just saying. Oh they have these little decoys for 28 each. I don't know. I'm not that impressed with them. Jeez. This looks so old. Is this the way it was? Mm -hmm. It's like a... Yeah, picture. Yeah. But really? Yeah, that's 60s probably. Mm -hmm. They used to give you the year. It says People cocktail to... shaker. Yeah, you shake it and you pour. Wow, that's Just shake nuts. Yeah. If you see this, that's oh my gosh, it's like wrought iron. This booth is half wolf, so this paperweight is nine. Their descriptions are fantastic. I want to see what's in that basket. Oh, they're little chick candles. Look at this little tiny iron. Funky. <laughs> that would be six. I really like this vintage milk glass cake stand, but it is half of 22 so it's 11. Eh, not bad. This clock is fantastic. Wow, it's half of 95. This amazing little iron for 10. Oh my goodness. And what do we have here? This whole box is 12. Not you know, bad. hello. Pippa? Yes? I remember when everybody used to decorate these house stands. I never had one of those, but. 25. Another gorgeous vintage bull mold. This one is 30. No percentage off in this booth either. Hi, little Christmas mouse for $10. You are very sweet. And here, this little mouse, another mouse, eight dollars. You know I have to check. Now I love these, these are like melamine, these vintage Kellogg's bowls. And they're all different. There's three of them. But there's no price. Ugh. My luck. That's my yeah, faves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, without a doubt. Because that's where you get the, the, you know, that's where you get the good stuff. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Jocelyn over at the Crazy Lamp Lady picked up one of these in the past I remember seeing a bunch of them that she found at a store and she did pick up one and they were Murano 
They were being sold as Murano when she found them. They looked identical to this with no difference whatsoever. And this one is $12. And I believe the ones she found were for like 20 and 25. So I'm not a clown fan, but this is a pretty amazing find. If I was a reseller, I would be picking this up right now, I'm sure. Especially with the old ladies are pricing stuff. They don't know. She no, they don't know what they're doing. What those prices. <laughs> and you just these are pretty, but not for twelve. They're not anything that special really. I mean they're very pretty, but this is gorgeous. Twenty five with twenty percent off. And this little pleat down here is Gorham for $12. Ooh, that's pretty down there. Look at these. These are four. Don't mind me. These are precious. I love them. But this is 10 with no percentage off. And this one is 8. That's a little more than I would prefer to spend on those. Oh my gosh, these were all the rage when I was a teenager. This is 5. This booth is chaotic. <laughs> see what I'm looking at over here. These little guys are cute too, but they're super expensive. Also, it's seven, six, and yeah, it's a little too much. It's just a little too much for me. Look at all these briar horses. Oh my goodness. They're $12 each. Oh, I had one of these. Look at this abalone ashtray, but that says Hawaii. Sheer energy in the egg. Oh, yes. 18 for that sifter. I love it. But not 18. Love it. Hi, nice Santa for 50% off, but you got a giant crack in your face. I'm sorry. Too well yeah. for the swan. This has like puffy paint all over it, it looks like. Oh, this is this is amazing. For four dollars. Wow. This gorgeous celluloid box for thirty. I love oh man this is fire king peach luster i love them how much Eleven. Oh man. <clears throat> Maybe I can pick up a little miniature blue mold, but not for six. No. All right. Let's look at the Pyrex. Twenty firm for a green bowl. No ma'am. 15 firm for a tiny one. That's cute. Cuter than the Byrex. I had one of those. 20 firm, 25 firm. People need to stop. Just stop. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. But it's 20 for whatever it is. 
right next to the haunted annabelle doll over here i spot this decoy it's unsigned but it's only ten dollars so i'm going to secretly hand this to one of the workers to bring up front for me oh, like i don't have enough see that tree of mine you guys were making fun of my tree it was all in good fun a dollar fifty. This is one of the um the um I don't know. This one glows like crazy too. This little pretty one, but not for twenty. It's just too much. Too too much. This is 24. Oh, these are so cute. As is 12 because half their paint is missing. This Japan, it's 12. What does that say? Renee Dil Dillon? I don't even know what it says, but it's Japan. Well, I mean, that's not. That's not an actual decoy. That's a beautiful carnival glass bowl. This is Italy. Just checking. That's what I do. This is Lefton. I just picked up one of these for like three dollars. This one is six. Well, that was so much fun. I hope you guys got some enjoyment. It's so loud. I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of it too. Looking around with me, but we had so much fun. And I told my mom and my stepdad, I was like, I'm so proud of you guys. You spent so long there. And they were like, oh yeah, that, we like it there. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to spend a long time at a thrift store. You know, a place like that with, there's basically reseller booths. So you're going to pay full retail. You know, I, you're not going to find any crazy gems like that people don't know what it is, you know, kind of. So it's different. Um... But, you know, luckily they had some sales at some booths and I'm very happy with my purchases. Um, I made some, some pretty large purchases. I mean, not crazy, but you know, not thrift store prices. I spent $108, I think, or 103. I have my receipt. We'll go over it when I do the haul. Um, but yeah, that was super fun. So... That's going to do it for this video because I'm sure it's crazy long and stay tuned for the haul from both places in this video. So until the next one, stay blessed my friends. I love each and every one of you.